You know, when it comes to therapy, there's just not, you know, if you don't have the money, there's really nothing out there. IBI is the name of the government program. It stands for Intensive Behavioral Intervention, and it's based on the science of Applied Behavioral Analysis, so or ABA. ABA. Okay. ABA is the science. IBI is the government program. Paul Soretti's twin daughters were two when they were diagnosed with autism. We're told that they need this er early intervention because the, the earlier they get it, the better chance they have to develop to their full potential. But then they tell you, well, you have to go on this wait list for one year, two years, maybe three years. And we taught them uh, a gamut of life skills from bathing, doing their hair, brushing their teeth, washing their hands, those kinds of things. Um, some basic pre-academics, how to recognize their name, how to count. You know, there's just the, the taxpayer, the, the money the taxpayers are going to have to pay if these two kids don't get help now is, is enormous. is that I've never said that the funding formula is fixed. In fact, um, I would argue it will be a continuing work and progress. Hamilton father Paul Soretti made headlines two years ago when he challenged provincial funding cuts to autistic children. Now he's creating hope for families by creating a therapeutic option. It's a very good program and it's rare. It's, it's good for everybody. It's good for kids, it's good for parents, and it's good for volunteers. And. Uh, I think that it puts everything together and uh, little makes little miracles. Thing.